Episode 2. You are listening to the new Glam Gal Podcast, the podcast where style meets confidence. Conquer the frustration of trying on clothes and learn to dress and love the body you are in. There are no size or weight requirements here. I'm your host, Miss J. Join me, won't you? Hey, Glam Gal. Today I'm going to tell you a story about a woman who moved to London with one blouse, one skirt, one pair of shoes, and 14 scarves. And she was considered to be quite fashionable. Who is this mystery woman, and how did she pull it off? Well, she's no mystery. It's actually Audrey Hepburn. This is, of course, before her Hollywood days. But she's even noted as saying that when she moved to Hollywood, she had two dinner dresses and a pair of slacks. It doesn't take much to be stylish. In fact, you can be stylish with items you already have on hand. Today's episode is all about how to be like Audrey and shop your own closet. What I mean by shopping your own closet is literally going to wherever you store your clothing and wearing items you already have on hand in new and creative ways. How do you pull this off? Well, all you need is the rule of four. The rule of four is literally using four items from your wardrobe, mixing and matching them over and over again to create new outfits. You don't have to be a style icon to do that. For the rule of four, all you need is a top, a bottom, an outerwear piece, such as a cardigan, a cape, a shawl, a blazer, a jacket, and one accessory, or multiples. I like to stack mine. Now, some of you are already having drama, And you're saying, but I have no sense of style. I have nothing to wear. Absolutely nothing fits me. For a small, small fraction of you, that may be true. However, for the majority of the women, you had to get dressed at some point this week. Some of you had to get dressed multiple times this week. You have a sense of style, and you have clothing to wear, whether you like them or not. I'm here to teach you how to look at what you have on hand in new and creative ways. And don't worry. I'll walk you through it. Step one, go to your closet and pick out four items that meet the rule of four. One top, one bottom, one outer piece, one accessory. If you're feeling adventurous, multiple accessories. I want you to do this three times until you have a total of 12 items on hand. Look for items that you wear often, items that you love, and items that still fit you. Second step, For the next few days, I want you to mix and match these 12 items. Perhaps you only have eight. That's okay, too. Wear the same top. Just wear different bottoms, a different outer piece, a different accessory. Wear the same bottoms and wear a different top, different outer piece, different accessories. Or you can keep the outer piece and change the tops and bottoms. Do this several times and you'll find that you have at least a small cachet of outfits readily available already in your closet. Some of you may be asking, why is it important to do this? It's important to do it for a few reasons. One, it immediately identifies what in your wardrobe you can peacefully give away. A lot of you have drama around cleaning out your closets. This eliminates the drama. You can immediately see what doesn't fit, what doesn't serve you, and what you didn't gravitate towards when you picked out your 12 items. Second, This helps you to identify your most valuable players in your closet. What you do actually like. What you wear often. What your own sense of style currently is. Three, it helps you to see where you want your style to go. This is how you develop a sense of style. This is how you creatively try on new things. Whether to decide you do or don't like them. And last, this informs your shopping decisions. If there's something that you like in particular, then you know to go out and hunt for more of it. Different colors, perhaps a different collar, a lapel. You really enjoy blazers. You hate cardigans. You're not a dress fan. Whatever the case may be, now you know to go shopping for things that you actually like as opposed to strictly adhering to some Pinterest list. And last, it also lets you know what you need replacing. Let's say you have a favorite cardigan that made it into your rule of four, only to find that it had pit stains, holes, 
some of the buttons were falling off, then you know you can replace this item with confidence and give it away or throw it away with ease. So, Glam Gal, I would love to see what you're up to. Use the hashtag NewGlamGal on Instagram. Check out my free style guide at JudithGaton.com. So, Glam Gal, you too can be like Audrey. Let's get it. Miss J out.